Hello guys, hope everyone's doing good. So I went to Drive and Drag in Atlanta, Georgia, and it had Bianca Del Rio, Aja O'Hare, Plastique, and so many others that were fa absolutely fabulous. I loved it, it was my first real like drag show from people from RuPaul's Drag Race, and I loved it, I love Bianca Del Rio, she's my favorite. So I'm going to do the makeup look with a few little touches that I did while I was there. So drink up, it is Saturday when I filmed this. I don't know where to put this. I'm gonna go with my lap. And we're gonna be very, very careful. Okay, so let's get into the look. All right, guys, I did not forget my moisturizer this time, so. Okay, so we're gonna moisturize. Ugh. I know I did not pull my hair back this time. I showered this morning and I put some gel in it, so it's kind of looking decent. Please ignore my red face. One, I'm hot. Two, Three, I have rosacea, so either way, I'm gonna look a little redder. Just bear with me. I've had a rough week, but I've been really How about y'all? But I've been trying to lose weight, I've been going to the gym, which it's been going pretty well for me going to the gym. Like, doing pretty good with it. First up is concealer, and I'm just gonna do a little bath. I did like to get the bags, and anywhere. As you know, I gotta, gotta look to see what at my mirror here and move it a little closer. I'm in my apartment. I'm doing what I can. Bear with me. I'm having a little like bumps right here, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get there. A little bit on my nose because I'm getting a little scabby. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead with that. So I'm just gonna beat this up. Yeah, this weather here in Kentucky has been crap. Because one minute it's starting to warm up, and then the next it is cooling and cold. So my nose is so dry. Does anyone else do that? Because girl, sign. Get rid of these bags that I have. Listen here, I literally came home yesterday. It blows my mind. Came home yesterday. Took a nap because I knew I didn't have to get up that early this morning. So I took a nap at 6 o'clock. Woke up at 7. Decided not to have dinner. And then came back. Laid down. And slept the entire night till 8.40 this morning. I didn't realize how exhausted I've been. Thank you. Concealer is done. Now for the eye makeup. Okay, I'm going in with Thirsty. Your girl. You're always thirsty. <laughs> Please ignore me. Please ignore me. And then I'm gonna go in with the James Charles palette because I'm just zhuzhing it up. I think it helps kind of bring out the colors I'm about to do. Here we go. Okay, I'm going in with this little skinny airbrush. I told y'all before, I just don't know the name of these. They don't have them. And if they do, I would tell you. I'm going in with Beach. It's actually the actual word with a lot of eyes, but I have some people who are younger of audience that watches my thing and I do not want to say words that they should be saying. So, going in with Beach, which is this one. And that's gonna be our little crease here. Ooh, girl, look at that color. Yes, queen. Now we're going into the other side. Just stop halfway. I'm not gonna go the whole crease like I usually do. Look at that. Hello. I love the pigment of this color. Though I wish it was a little darker. So that's why I'm going in with Rusted and You're Kidding. Rusted is this one and You're Kidding is this one. So I'm gonna mix these up. Yes, with the same brush. And I'm just gonna go in a little bit more on the crease. See, I feel like that makes it a little bolder. Thing it. One, it make it really and two, I don't want to get copyrighted. Mm, girl, look at that pigment. Okay, so we're gonna go back with Thirsty and we're gonna go in with this is called JS6, and then I'm gonna go with Quinch. Yes, yellow. I didn't think I would ever do yellow, but this look, this is gonna go to the rest of our piece right here. You blend it in. It's gonna give you like a sunset look. Like I like it. I like it a lot. 
This is a good like party look, like out and about, going clubbing. My friend said it looks like I was a toucan. I like it. Like I think it's really pretty. And I'm gonna go back in with another yellow that's gonna make it a little bit more vibrant. And it is going to be B from the James Charles palette. It's gonna be this one. And then dab into that. Oh yeah. Gives it some more color. Oh girl. Yes. Queen, look at that. Like, I just love when things come together and they start looking fabulous. And they're actually working. And so, you know, you're just like, mm, 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 mm. Mm. Did I just spill that? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm sitting on my bed. <laughs> and so now my covers are a little, because <laughs> I spilled a little bit of it. I'm a little dirty, but it's okay. Okay, but now we're gonna go in with all concealer. Make sure you get enough on there. I like doing cut creases, but I hated them at the same time because you're like oh i just did all that work and now like and now look it's gonna be all gone but it's okay we are artists and sometimes we gotta we just gotta do what you gotta do be beautiful we got one eye so i'm gonna do the other this year has just been a pain I thought 2020 was gonna be bad. 2021 isn't helping. Like, it has not been the best, but like, I'm hoping for not only for myself, but for you all as well, that it gets better for everybody. Cause right now, girl, it ain't looking, and like, it ain't looking too hot. And looking too hot for me. Because I expected to be somewhere else at this time in my life, and I'm not. But then again, you know, things happen for a reason. I guess I'm just not where I thought I should be. It's just not time for me yet, so. I'm trying to find my brush that I literally just had, like, aha, found it. So I'm gonna go back in with B, and I'm gonna make that yellow look a pop a little more. There. I'm gonna go back in with the orange and red that I just did, the rust and and you're kidding. And I'm just gonna just a little bit right there, just to touch it up. Even artists have to touch up their work, so it doesn't hurt to touch up. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. I drank it all. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if someone's walking in my grave or that was just really bad tasting and it just hit me wrong. But either way, that wasn't fun. <sighs> I can't reach that. It's just gonna go. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my hip. Oh God, I'm old. Okay, next up is our cut crease. I'm going in with Submerge. I don't think I'm crazy, it's okay. I think this looks really, really pretty. I got a lot of compliments that night. And yes, we were um, safe. We did wear masks. I did post pictures and the pictures, I did not wear a mask because obviously I was in pictures, but we carried our masks, we did wear a mask. It was a fabulous night. I had the best time with two of my closest friends ever and I love them dearly. They are great people and I would go back with them in a heartbeat. Like, if you're gonna go and do things with people, like, do with people you love and you love hanging out with. Like, look at this. I love this look. I think it's really pretty. Like, I love the yellow and the red and the blue. Like, it gives me, like, a sunset vibe. I don't, I don't know. Other people might think differently, aka my friend who thinks that this is a toucan look. Toucan or not, but I look toucan cute. Uh -huh. This is why I'm not a comedian. All right, moving on. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the under eye. So I'm gonna very much do my crease. So it's gonna be the red and then the yellow again. All right, now I'm gonna go in with those reds. Like, now that that's done, so I'm gonna save the rest, like you know, you know, highlight stuff. You know, worry about that right now. So we're moving on to our foundation. Do a little squirt on the hair brush. I do little dots, and I just fill it in. That's good. It's hot, and it's. Mm. 
clean up any edges you got going on. I don't know if I said this in the last video, but I used to do my eye makeup last. And here recently, I have not. I have been doing it first because that way I can clean it up and um, sharpen up the edges. Especially with uh, my concealer. So I feel like I can do more with it. I feel like I can clean up my edges better when I do my eye makeup first. I had to wait to do my eye, like my mascara and stuff last because it's mascara. If you blink a certain way, you can mess it up. I try to leave that last. Listen, I've walked out of here without mascara and I'm like, man, what is, what is, what is wrong with my eye? What's missing? I'm like, oh my God, my mascara. Yeah, girl, she a mess. Okay, we're going in with our contour palette. See, I want to get a new contour palette. Like, I like this one, but it doesn't like the light beige. I'd really like a lighter, like a contour, like light color instead of just like a highlight. Cause this one like yes it's a highlight but like it doesn't do what i want it i want a light like light clown light call me tricks in the tail but i wanted to do something and i don't feel like it does anything for me so it looks kind of cheap oh and then, oh my god let me leave it and then they like if anyone asks be like oh, no um so i talked i talked about this on my tiktok yes i have tiktok so i have a tiktok and try to be tiktok famous like who else like i told this story on there this is a true story i work as an ophthalmic assistant so i work with eyes so i work with um eye doctors a lot of them are um surgeons because they're specialized in like retina detachment glaucoma cataracts stuff like that we do normal like ophthalmologists what do i'm usually on the fourth floor with the retina detachments and stuff like that anyways i was doing this test on this girl for our neurologist so she She's the only neurologist doctor for eyes in the whole state of Kentucky. And so, so she like, she's very, very thorough, which is amazing. She likes everything a certain way. Like she's very, very particular. So everyone has to do these tests every time they come in. Like, I don't care how well you've been improving. Like we gotta do it. Like, I mean, you don't like them. We don't like them. This is what we gotta do. So I was doing this girl's test, which is a visual field where you go in this machine. It's a dark room. It's literally, so my my apartment room is small and it's half of my apartment room and like this wall right here is like way too big for that room it gets only half like literally here to here very small so you go in there and you look at these lights and we see what you can like we're trying to see how much you can see in your peripheral vision you look at this light and then click 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 all around this mom of this girl you know was talking away to me usually like to try, try to keep it quiet so the um patient can focus well this mom's talking away and all this and i'm trying to like keep the conversation like very light and end it pretty fast so her daughter can focus and like she's like oh where are you from and i'm from i'm like i'm from eastern kentucky i'm from the appalachian region and she's like oh cool and so like starts asking me about our water situation which my hometown's water situation is kind of bad it's not good like our water is not healthy for people we do a lot of cool water advisories because our water department doesn't really care like it is what it is but she was like and i was like oh you know it's getting better it is what it is and she was like no 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 do you all have running water in your house Girl, yes, we do have running water. If anyone wants to know, yes, people of Appalachia, we do have running water. Like, I promise we do. I do, a lot of my friends do. Like, we have running water. I promise we have running water. They might betray us as really poor folks, and we might be really poor folks. We're not that poor where we don't have running water at our houses. It was, uh, it was a fun experience, and I had to explain to her, yes, ma'am, we do have running water, and no, I don't walk around barefoot, and no, this is not the biggest city I've ever been in, because I currently live in a city area, I don't want to, it's not Louisville, let me tell you that, um, University of Kentucky is in this area, I'll give you that, because, you know, don't want anyone trying to hunt me down, yeah, and I was like, oh, um, Listen, we have running water. We're we're humans. Like we haven't had not running water in our houses for years. Like my mom was really like that was at her my mom's grandparents' houses. Like but I was like, come on now, like we have we have running water. Like and yes we have cars yes we live in haulers but like haulers are literally just side roads that go so like it's literally haulers are two mountains next to each other and you go in between like a valley but it's up in the mountains like that's a hauler and just because we live in a hauler doesn't make us idiots or anything 
though we do have those. We do have those stereotypes where people are exactly like that. We do, but not all of us. I know I didn't do this last time, but I'm going to do my next. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a fun experience, being a little bit of stereotype. It was the first and all my coworkers were like, why didn't you tell her? Oh yeah, that's what I do. We're us holler monkeys. We, uh, we do that. We don't have running water. It's a big old city folk up in here. And I was like, you know what? I was just so in shock of someone's stupidity to ask me that, that I couldn't even think about saying that. I couldn't even think about it because it was I was just so utter shocked of someone literally asking me that. Who asked that? Who who does that? Who asks if you have running water? Like this is the 21st century. For the most part. For the most part. I can't say we all because everyone a lot of people are very different, especially in different areas. But as far as I know from my area we do. Let me just say it like that. Running water is something we do have we do appreciate so thank you city folks who gave us running water how about that does that make up for all that does that will that lady be happy now lady if you ever see this um just know thank you for your running water and your contributes to us well folk of eastern kentucky of the appalachian region i'll be the ambassador and i think yeah, no, she literally was like, how does it feel being here in um, this big old city? And I was like, I travel with a lot with my family. New York's been one of the biggest cities I've been. I've been out in LA, I've been in San Francisco, I've been to uh, Florida, in Orlando. I lived there for a little bit. Speaking of that, pop to that subject. I lived in Florida for a hot minute and I just realized while I'm talking to you that I didn't do my concealer. So we're gonna do our concealer again. Just a little tap bit, nothing too serious. Just a little dab here, dab here, and dab here. Here and here. So, story on that, I lived in Orlando. So, the beginning of about February 3rd of 2020, I moved down to Orlando and I actually worked for um, Walt Disney World. So I know a lot of secrets. So, if anyone's curious about some Walt Disney secrets, let me know. So, I have some and there's a lot because I was in the costume department. I worked with a lot of costumes with characters and outside of characters. So, like, um with normal cast members so i did a lot i did a lot with their costumes i do know characters costumes like a what's going on with that and all that so i was in the costume department with that and i also know a little bit more i was at the time i was actually trying to get on phantasmic the show i was trying really hard due to my background in theater and being when i worked in theater and did a lot of costume changes and stuff for theater in my time here in Kentucky before I went to Orlando. And so I was being looked at and I was hoping to get in and here and have them use me as a, now they use my experience and get farther into where I want. I, granted, I want to be in entertainment, but no, you know, Disney is a really hard entertainment Place. Like when they say acting is hard to get into, like Disney's hard to get into. Because when you go and you do the auditions, because I've done it twice now, they literally have a look and they're not going to tell you. Like that's how the auditions go. They're not going to tell you what look they are looking for. Yes, it was the college program. They are not going to tell you the look that they're looking for or anything because they don't want to discourage anybody. They want everyone to do the best they can. And that's what they tell you at the beginning. They're like, hey, you know, we want you to do the best that you can. And it's just whatever happens it's not because you're not good enough and it's not because that you look any different it's just because the look that you have or the body type that you have it's already filled that's what it is like they might not have my body type but they might need more people that are five three to five five foot to five three and small when i'm already five five i'm average height and they've already got that that position filled so like it, it's not on them it is what it is like you just never know so that's that's my input on it like don't like it is very discouraging and it is hurtful because like you know you work your butt off to get where you're at and, but at the end of the day that's what any career is so back in this makeup i'm only doing my blush here now. Look at that. I think it just looks better. So I'm putting it straight onto my cheeks. Like, 
Okay, here. Jeez. It, it's a fun experience. Um, I was the last. I was in the last college program that they've done because due to COVID, I had applied three times. This was my third time. I'm not ashamed about it. Mentally wasn't ready, and them not picking me those first two times was was right. Like I wasn't. I wasn't prepared, and I wasn't ready to go anywhere. And I realized that after you know not being picked. So by the third time I got picked, I moved there, and it was the time of my life until COVID hit and then they sadly laid us all off and I've not been able to be back. And that's where I met my friend, Audra, who went with me to this drag show. She's actually from Kentucky, so it was really funny. And I have really more, I miss uh, Kirsten and Gabrielle. Like, I, I'm, I don't know if they're watching this, but if you ever see it, like, I miss you guys. You guys, I loved our, my roommates. They were the best people like we had the best times and I miss it there because I love Disney. I've, li I've loved Disney since I was a child. It's my happy place. You can ask my family. As soon as I get there, I turn five years old. It just, it's just somewhere that makes you happy and I like it. I'm just like, I'd like to go back and work there for a little bit and fulfill like those six months that I was going to have there. And so I was like, okay, this is what it's like to work here six months. Okay, done and over and move it on. Cause it was like that chapter I I didn't get to finish it. I'm all sad about it. But like I said, things happen and you know, we couldn't control what happened. And it was just better off that we had to close for our safety and Disney's. So and and our and our patrons, like our, our customers there, we wanted to make sure our people who were there were safe as well. And so no one really knew what was gonna happen, so on to our highlight. So I really like it the way it is. I touched it up a little bit while I was at the drag and drive. Whoever wants to do this look, like you're more welcome to leave it just matte. Or you can do a little color to it. So I'm going in with my Extreme Frost Gag Me. But however you can do this with anything, I think this works better if I use my fingers. So I'm just going to... But yeah, I lived in Orlando for a little bit. It was fabulous. I'm actually gonna do this here. I think with this highlight, it goes on better with your finger. I'm using a finger that didn't have it on it, so I'm blending it in. I do a little bit here as well. I think look at that. See, I I dab it because I feel like it goes a little bit more. I like to do a cute top. Yeah. After my highlight, I'm gonna go in with mascara. I've been to Scotland. Um, it was fun. It was for the Fringe Festival. If you don't know what the Fringe Festival is, it's the world's largest theater. I went at the end of my freshman year of college. It was a really great experience. I loved it. Would 10 out of 10 go back again to Scotland. It was magical and it was just great. Like I absolutely loved it. I love watching people from all over the world act and perform. We actually had a show there. We didn't get a, like, granted, even if you don't get a lot of people at your show, because, like, we had to sell our own show. Like, we, we were on the streets and we we're, we're handing out flyers. Like, you have to be our salesperson. You have to be our own. Like, we were doing everything for ourselves as if we were our, our own theater company. Like, we had to do it ourselves. It was like a good experience to learn like how people do that. We did the uh, the haunted uh, Cavacombs uh, tour and it was fabulous. One underneath the city and uh, staying in a hostel. And in the hostel we had breakfast that uh, was every morning was the same breakfast. And it's okay, it was good. I didn't mind it because I knew it was free and I wanted to save money. So I literally gonna ask anybody that went on the trip. I literally ate beans, very similar to our baked beans here. I'd have that and toast and you put that on toast and you eat it. And so that's what I ate every day. And then I'd walk around. And let me tell you, their food was so healthy. Like I did not feel like I was eating anything I shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't greasy, it, it was light, it was good. Oh my God, it was so good. Their bread was delicious. I actually lost 13 pounds while I was there and we were there for 13 days and I had lost weight from walking everywhere and eating their food. And when we came back and we were eating, we ate, I don't remember where we went out and ate, but we went out and ate. I was sick as a dog. Like my stomach was like, no, this, this food is greasy and it's nasty. And I was like, I want to go back. Their food was good. So I'm going in now with androgyny with planer. So bear with me. 
As you can tell, it wasn't the smoothest. It's all right, not everyone's perfect. We're gonna make mistakes. Then I'm going in with unicorn blood. And I'm done. Like this is this is the look. This is my fan. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I have. I've had fun. I really needed something fun to do, and this is just fun for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've took something out from it. I'm a big goofball that loves crazy things. And yeah, like I hope to see you next time. Alright, thanks guys for watching. I've had fun. Hope you've had fun. Enjoyed my crazy stories, and I hope to see you again. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yes, queen!